Hello and welcome back to Awkward Bob. Today we're going to show you how to set up something that I've never owned before now. An Amazon Fire TV stick. Let's get started. Today we are doing a setup of the Amazon Fire TV stick. Now being a Google fan boy myself, uh, I've never really had any desire to try out the Fire TV stick, but uh, today we are going to give it a shot. One thing that was interesting to me of this versus the Chromecast is this thing here. The, the remote, uh, very cool to have an actual remote. It actually has a, the ability to do a voice search by just clicking that button to search for programming. And it covers all of the same apps that a Google Chromecast will cover. So... We're going to do a setup today. We're not going to compare it to the Chromecast every step of the way, but we're going to do a setup today and maybe we'll do a comparison on another video. So let's get started. Uh, one of the complaints I had in my Chromecast video is people hated seeing me take it out of the box. I don't care. We want to do it anyway. That's part of it, right? It's going through this entire process of start to finish showing you the setup. And since I've never done this before, this is all new to me as well. So we'll we open it up. We've got the instructions here. A couple batteries, it looks like. Here's the remote. And here is the actual stick, the fire stick. Let's take a look at this. Very nice. So this is going to plug into your HDMI just like a Chromecast or any other device like it and it has a USB power spot there. What else we got in here? I assume this is the power brick. Oh, here's the cable. And oh, what is this? I'll have to look this up. You guys that have done this before are probably screaming at me, but I assume it's some sort of adapter that this will go into the TV and then, then you'll just plug the fire stick directly into this maybe. Or maybe this. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a minute. Let's take a look at the remote. And I will put timestamps in the comment in the description rather uh, to start right into the setup if you don't want to see any of this. But I'm going to go through this with you anyway. Oh, you, oh there's a little flap here. A lot of people like this sound. Right there it is. Very clicky buttons. I like it. Is that everything? What else do we have? Oh, there's the actual power brick. Alright, let's get to the setup. I looked at the instructions and that one piece is an extender that you can plug into this device. Uh, you can use that if the Wi-Fi signal isn't reaching or uh, it says also if the this piece won't fit into your TV very well. So that extender kind of helps with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started on this setup. First thing you'll want to do is find that USB piece, the connector, plug it right in to the side. I never get that right the first try. Okay, snug into that. The other side We'll plug into the power brick that comes with it. And now we're ready to plug this thing into the TV. All right, first step is going to be to plug the power right into the power strip or wall, I guess, depending on what you're wanting to do. 
after you plug in the power, you're going to take the Amazon Fire Stick, find an open HDMI spot, and plug it right in. Let's see if I can do this. How many wires? Now, this is what the extender, I believe, is made for. This isn't currently wanting to fit, if you can see. This isn't currently wanting to fit with this other HDMI cable, so let's try the extender. All right, so this end will plug in to this side. Should be easier than this. Like so, is that right? Then, this end now will fit right there. So now you see we have the extender connected, HDMI is connected, and now the power is connected. So let's turn on the TV. So when you first turn it on, this is what's going to pop up. Maybe not in this language. I'm not sure why. Oh, we're skipping around. All right, so I th I'm assuming it's telling us to press the home button. There it is. So the first step, as soon as you have it plugged in, is you're going to press that home button, and it brings you to this screen. Press play, pause to start. I'll press play, pause. On the TV, it's going to ask you what language, and it's scanning for Wi-Fi networks. Once you enter your Wi-Fi information, it should tell you the connection is successful. And now Fire Stick is checking for updates. Okay, this is where you'll choose whether you have an Amazon account or not. We do. All right, once you've logged in under your Amazon account or signed up for a new one. It's asking if that's the account that you want to use. You hit continue. Then it'll ask you whether or not you want to save your Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. So it'll help you connect compatible devices. All right, so you can do parental controls on here. We're going to skip that for now. And it's now preparing the remote for setup. We'll be playing music during the next step. Please make sure that the volume is up and then hit continue. No, it doesn't say continue, it actually says next, but that's fine. Hmm, not sure how it's controlling my audio. You can see my sound bar, you see that little light? Every time I press up and down on it, it actually changes there. I'm kind of shocked. I'm not sure how it's controlling my Vizio sound bar, but apparently it's smart enough to do that. So yes, we can hear. And it's completely set up. So it's going to ask you which streaming services you want to use. Okay. So this is the main screen. It's going to do some advertisements for you. And that was one of the complaints I, I have read about uh, this device is that you, you do get a lot of ads that take up part of the screen. Um, so here's a lot of the different services that you can use. YouTube, Netflix, Amazon Prime, music. So a lot of different things here to choose from. So if you have it, I don't know if you know this, but if you have Amazon Prime account, then that includes Amazon Prime Video, <clears throat> which has a lot of Amazon original programming, as well as other movies and things that you can um, get access to. You can also access on here, Amazon content that you've 
digitally purchased through Amazon's website. At the at the top, you go to the very top, it has various options. We have live TV. So a lot of this is going to require some form of uh, services, I'm sure, but you can see some of the options. And at any point, if you want to go back, you just hit the back button. It'll take you back to the main menu. And there's a list of videos that we have purchased at various points digitally, so you can watch them right from this menu. Movies shows you Amazon's movies as well as some other options that might be available on other services. And then TV shows and various apps that you can use. Some of these are going to be free, some of these are going to be paid subscription, and you're just going to have to go through each one and find the ones that you like and see if you have to pay for it. That pretty much completes the setup. The only other thing I wanted to show you is you can voice search using, so we get to focus, this little button here. So why don't we try that? What do we want to search for? I'm going to voice search. Now to voice search you have to click and hold down on the button. Play Awkward Bob on YouTube. Getting that from YouTube. That is, in fact, one of my Awkward Bob videos. It worked pretty well. So then to return to home, you can hit back, you can hit the home button, and it takes you right back home. So you can use this search function, search voice search function for all of your different apps that you've downloaded. Pretty cool feature. We'll say I do like having a remote. It makes it very nice to navigate through the menus and to be able to search for things. One thing you will have to do is you'll have to go through and download all the different apps that you want. I'm sure some of them, like Amazon's, probably already on here, but YouTube, I actually had to go and install. That will do it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please be sure to leave a like. If you like this kind of content, I'd like to hear from you in the comments down below, or you can subscribe for whenever I get around to doing more of these kind of videos. Uh, soon, I'll be doing a comparison between the Google Chromecast and the Amazon Fire Stick. So you can see what the pluses or pros and cons are between the two and which I like the most. That'll do it. Have a great day. This video is over.